Okay, so first step that you must do is to grab a touch cord and of course our AP110 here then insert the end of the touch cord here and then we have here our then insert the PUE or the touch cord to the PUE port okay <clears throat> then of course the power cord so when I plug this power cord you must you will see this light here okay so it's wait for it to be steady green okay and then after which if you try to connect in your cell phone the steeple link <coughs> excuse me so this is the SSID TP link uh, it must be something so I will show you in my phone I will try to connect okay so if you try to connect so this is the SSID of the AP110 antenna and you try to connect it will just keep on connecting so in piece of Wi-Fi this will happen if your piece of Wi-Fi has no internet connection so what I am going to do now is to insert an internet connection coming from my router okay So this, a 5 Mbps from my router and I will insert this to here in our PoE LAN, okay? Okay, so after that, and now you can connect the TP link your phone you continue now to your phone to the TP link see you will see here it is now connected okay so for the next step <coughs> is I will be using I'll be using the my browser to set up the TP link. Okay, so you will see in my available Wi-Fi how my the TP link a outdoor antenna is now connected successfully then we can i can proceed to my browser and type in the default no? the default for the tp link is https semicolon and then double slash tp link just follow at the back of your of the outdoor antenna and since i have typed it lately then i um i can easily access now now these are the available uh, url i i've gone through and it is, it is now asking my username and the password so you will see at the back of the outdoor antenna admin admin username password so i'm gonna type now Log in. So you will be given a set up new account here. So this is the admin access of our outdoor antenna. So you must change it so that your antenna cannot be accessed by anyone. So I am putting in. Let me try this Vincent and password.
I mean, I think so. In this part, to continue the setup, we are asked to give to give an SSID and a password because you cannot continue if you won't give them. So just put a password temporarily so that the setup will continue. Give a password. Uh, I'm just gonna make it for five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then save. So wait for the setting application it is now applying success and then you remember the password it's one two three four five six seven eight nine so finish you will be automatically disconnected then you are going to reconnect via your Wi-Fi oops sorry the ISIS ID now is no more tp link it's already Vincent Wi-Fi 2 click it and you will be connected automatically oh why it says wrong password so it does remove this network and then connect and here this password and we're going to type in one two three four five six seven eight nine and join so i am now connected let's proceed to the setup uh -huh. let me just refresh okay so you go here in the wireless and you will see here the ssid for Vincent Wi-Fi 2 and you click here this action have you seen that action there so click edit just beside the recycle bin then for the security mode you must not put a password or security so click none and click OK then you will be automatically disconnected so you only have to go back to your Wi-Fi see so you are the you are disconnected and it is now in an open network so anyone can connect to this network for free then let us check for the speed test my source of internet is only 5 mbps so let us expect that it won't exceed my bandwidth okay I've got a higher ping here four it's four four point one four point three okay four point four so now it's four point four four point five for the download it's 4.6 for the upload okay not bad for 3 MB so that's it and that's very easy no need installation of programs no need computers and thank you so much and see you next time